welcome back to epg program in japanese we are into paper 5 communication through translation hon yaku tsuji te no communication and getting into module 19 that is the part 2 of patent uh, translation and we design the module in a way where you learn while practicing the translation so jis sen shinagara gakusho suru tokyo path ni this is the content writer and the acknowledgement goes to surubhi rajat and anukumari in that order uh, all the three are the trainees in the ongoing translation training program of csr nescare and their contribution is for the data collection and the base work uh, let me recapitulate what we have done in the previous modules uh, number 1 is the rational application and combination of techniques cut down the overheads for example if these techniques are applied one which was tried was 5w1h followed by frame capturing or using 5w1h to frame capture then in addition to that units again 5w1h and transpositioning and the more slightly modified or simplified technique is 5w1h applied to capture the frame and again applied for transpositioning now application of unit concept uh, definitely makes the job more mechanical uh, which actually means easier but to that extent only because mechanical will not have that touch that is required in the translation then keeping aside initially the adjectives adjectival clauses multiple nouns help and uh, helps uh, in a in a big way then proper nouns may be transliterated and possible meaning if required may be given in parenthesis sometimes as a footnote unsaid unsaid part in japanese is a very common uh, phenomenon for example finishing with uh, just towa nani something towa uh, this needs to be handled con- handled uh, contextually and with regard to the frames the hint is that the number of verbs in a sentence may be equal to the number of frames then domain specific units this concept was introduced in a previous module but here we have seen the exact examples the domain specific units may be applicable in other domains also again it has to be applied very carefully then certain other things which are domain specific for ex- specific for example the international codes such as inid codes in this case are very useful for universal applicability here in this module we will be introducing the application of translation techniques on patent translation uh, particularly scope of patent or what we call scope of patent claim and the process of simplification of the procedure will continue the objectives remain the professional pursuit which means uh, defining way forward for the practitioners while attempting the new domain guiding principles remain follow systematic approach the combination of techniques remain dynamic look for the way to handle the deviations render accurate translation with reasonable readability even in the case of patents and outcome uh, remains same as it has been in almost all the modules we have done that is practicing scholars of translation we need to groom uh, who could sail through the patent translation uh, that means the confidential confidence building measures generating realistic theories through practice and the trainer's trainer let's start with the scope of patent this is uh, one example which has been picked up here it starts with uh, tokyo seiki no hai that is the scope of the patent then there is one more line called seiku ko ichi uh, these are the two simple things but then the next paragraph seems to be quite uh, complicated let me see let me see the or just tell me is it too long too complicated fine so let's try to do some segmentation here uh let's attempt the first two lines first see tokyo seiku no hai and seiku ko ichi first one is there is a particle in between and the two other two are basically noun one is the compound noun the other is a simple noun and uh, the second one is simply uh, noun only and there is a number coming with it so let's do it uh, if we can do with the help of uh, domain specific unit if we try to break the first one that is tokyo seiku no hai uh, it's very simple tokyo plus seiku and then it is getting connected with no and no hai so no hai we we know it's uh, scope of 
and to q plus c q is patent claim so it's very simple so scope of patent claim and it becomes a domain specific single unit uh, it will be applicable universally c q co is uh, again can be divided into two if you want but uh, no need it's claim and actually claim in terms of number that is claim 1 2 3 so again this is single unit and universal so this resolves uh, uh, you know difficulty of those two lines and we can use these uh, forever in the case of patents now the learning here is that to the extent possible we must apply the unit or the domain specific uh, uh, unit uh, resolution approach now let's attempt segmentation on the remaining part just see uh, can you recall the the first slide where you had uh, five or six or seven lines continuously written too many kanji probably and too many verbs coming probably you will be confused with the subject also because why is also occurring uh, two times in this particular example now if we break it and this is a very simple segmentation it's done in a, a very mechanical manner wherever you felt you could you can do for example it start with uh, the sentence starts with den ryoku o uh, den so suru and then if you go further then it says a something sochi sochi to and again then it goes further and says o fukumo uh, juden sochi to o so it is to to o sonairu and then it talks of a system sonairu system de atte so system de atte obviously this atte either has to go in a sequential order after this or it has to be kept kept aside so i think it can be broken here easily then next uh, compound has got va with it it can easily be separated like this and if we go further then it is breaking at to 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 and o moto ni so ni then o sonai up to here it can be broken into smaller pieces and then again va then again uh, o moto ni then o tokute shi and ga zureru yo ni and then finally shish them now if we break at uh, these places it has started making some sense now i think you can probably now understand line by line but it may not be easy to connect the lines so let's see can we do can we do something else it looks sim simple yes it does look simple but does it serve the purpose i think some more uh, some more technique is required or application of technique is required so let's see first let's see the english translation of uh, this particular paragraph oh it's same again you have got too many lines too many technical words so for example if i read it a contact less power transmission system i don't know if you'll understand power transmission system i don't know whether it is physical power or electrical power and then you have a transmission system probably talking about some wires through power goes uh, from one electrical power goes from one place to the other place but it says contact less so difficult to understand so from beginning itself the context is uh, not so easily comprehending comprehensible context and if we see further uh, we will find that coupled to the power transmission coils wherein the power transmitting device includes a placing portion so something where it looks like a legal language why not let's 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 attempt it ourselves by using the techniques which we have learned so far so let's derive the segment wise equivalence from the original japanese for scope of patent that is scope of patent claim step by step and it's basically uh, you know this this is the this is the pieces which were broken earlier now it's not helping uh, much it's 5w1h we can use to capture the frame uh, maybe use units also and again the technique process remains the same but it does make some sense but the things are not so clear so let's regroup these segments in a meaningful manner now these are the four segments which can be drawn from the the segmentation which we have done earlier the first one breaks at they atte only so it is uh, a to a is a sochi so a to and then b b is again a sochi so a to b to o sonairu then it is he seshoku den then you could then so system de atte so i think this is adjectival you can simply say system de atte so this is segment 1 then it starts with zenki so 
so then so chi wa and if we see then there were to 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 o motani and then uh, o hante suru hante bu to o sonai this means o sonai is going probably with many things so segment 2 up to here and then uh, there is a wa coming once again so this jenki hashin bu wa and if we see carefully it's something so chi o motani then hashin tai shoni to naru again if you continue then it says uh so then koir o tokte shi and then it goes further ga zureru yoni and kaku so then koir ni uh, nagareru denryo no parameta o uh, sette suru koto o tokcho to suru so sette suru koto up to here segment 3 and o tokcho to suru another segment now the key point here is that o tokcho to suru is it typical expression used in the case of patent so we are breaking it as a separate segment so segmentation therefore needs to be done keeping in mind this key expression uh maybe the topic and maybe sometimes subject and the verbs also uh hit and trial we have seen now hit and trial works in the case of segmentation when logic is uh, or logic application is a bit difficult so each segment can be translated independently with the four segments which we saw in the previous one by further segmentation into macro frame micro frame and or units you can also say probably sub segments followed by transpositioning using 5w1h as i uh, said that there is a typical key uh, feature in the case of patent and that is o tokcho to suru so in this case koto o tokcho to suru you can also start with o or put the koto with the previous one o tokcho to suru hi seshoku uh, hi seshoku denryoku den so system so this is segment 4 and this is patent specific and this patent specific writing style uh, it needs uh, to be handled uh, probably first so let me let me go step by step for this segment 4 uh, if we see carefully then it was hi uh, seshoku denryoku denso system so the complete thing can go as x a noun so koto o tokcho to suru x and if we translate this it becomes x which is characterized by and that is the equivalent in target language now place back the element which was taken away Uh, is contactless transmission system that's for hisheshoku is contactless uh, dendoku then so dendoku is getting dropped here dendoku in japanese is used quite often but in english normally if we say uh, transmission in the context in the context means in electrical context then electrical is not required or power is not required so contactless transmission system which is characterized by let's see now the segment 1 in the next slide Uh, the you know what you need to remember here is that the patent specific style uh, needs to be uh, taken up first in the case of patent and certain things certain hints you can remember that the power in power transmission and electric in electric power can be dropped when we are talking within the uh, scope of the electrical domain this is the segment 1 uh, i think i'll have to take help of uh, Surbi here because Surbi, can you read it for me? It's too small for me to read. It's actually the segment one is the previous one, previous the first statement which was system de atte, and uh, yes, can you read it please, loudly please. Then jo ko o then so suru, so then koiru o kukumu, so then jo so then so chito, so chito, thank thank you. Jenki so then koir ni. I think it's Jiki or hmm. yes, Jiki ketsugo sareru. Ju then koir o fukumu. Ju then sochi. You know, if you read it carefully, you are actually getting the nouns easily, and there is some adjectival part uh, just before those nouns. To o sunairu hisesho ku dendyo ku denso system de atte. Now you know. let's try to understand the sub segments 
now these are these are the parts of the sentence or the sub segments of the sentence and it's den ryoku o den so suru so den koir o fukumu so den sochi now the way i was reading you can always find so den sochi it is talking about and there is an adjectival portion before that so it's so den sochi to and that's what it is written it's an adjectival clause plus noun and this noun is getting substituted as a and then again in the second one also it is zenki so den koir ni jiki ketsu go sareru ju den koir o fukumu so up to here is of fukumu that means it's adjectival and then it is ju den sochi to so it's again adjectival clause plus noun which is getting substituted as b so it's basically a to b to and the next one is o sonairu which is a verb and a to b to o sonairu and if you see the next one uh, the first part that is he says shoku is contactless then den ryoku then so is transmission or power transmission system de atte so it's basically system so only the adjective can get dropped system de atte becomes noun plus de atte and the frame or the the structure comes out as a to b to o sonairu system de atte which easily get translated as is a system having a and b and if you want you can put it is a system having a and b so i think uh, can you read out uh, sir be the comments here the adjectival clauses can be dealt separately as microframe complex or difficult elements substituted for low fin degree of unfamiliarity adjectives Kept aside for that time. We have done it earlier also. It's just to remind. But uh, if you can see, you know, the, such a long or a complicated appearing sentence becomes so simple when you, uh, you know, remove the adjectival clause for the time being, because it can be handled separately, and then replacement with something which is familiar to you. What I would say that the, it's what we are doing here is a to b to o. and if you are familiar with sochi then you can say sochi a to so uh, juden koir and if you know the juden koir then there is no need to say even a you can say sochi to juden koir o uh, sorry there is a sochi again at the end here so it is sochi a to sochi b to o sonairu so you ha you have to have the familiarity to the extent possible uh, substitution should be done in a reasonable and a rational manner uh, to that extent and adjectives must be kept aside for the time being because it helps uh, improving the comfort level let's identify now the macro and the micro frames system da atte it's a system and now see the micro frames a to b to o sonairu system so system has a and b and it's also possible to have system de atte and a to b o sonairu together that's also possible we have tried to uh, take out the adjectival clause in this case and kept it separately so that the macro frame becomes very small it depends upon you if you can understand the combination then a to b o sonairu system de atte can be taken as one as one macro uh, frame and uh, other micro frames are den ryoku o den so suru and then so den koir o fukumu Uh, if you see there are some components taken from the previous uh, one to basically improve your comprehension that is den ryoku o so den suru so den koir so no so den koir o fukumu a like this some connectivity if you keep making while breaking the sentence into sub uh, into segments or sub segments the next one is zenki so den koir ni jiki ketsu go sareru ju den koir and ju den koir o fukumu the equivalents as are listed here they are very clear so let's try to see can we do something about it see again so we can you read the comments here sub segments in orange are the adjectival clauses for the adjoining noun in pink example a b etc and can be translated separately den ryoku o den so suru literally translates as transmit electric power electric can be dropped yeah so transmit power is enough in this case because uh, uh, of course den ryoku has got kanji of den and ryoku which means electric power but when we say power in english uh, without uh, you know without knowing any context you may have to say but if you know that they are talking in electrical context then power means electrical power 
Now let's identify, uh, let's list those uh, frames here once again. If we try to join them as it is, probably they may not render uh, very meaningful uh, connectivity. So let's try to apply the concept of 5W1H while joining. Let's try to put the question. The first question is, yeah, sir, we, can you read the first question? Non-deska. de aate, which means it is a system. Next question. Non-deska. So it's non-deska. I say system de aate. She's asking donna system de aru. Then I say A to B is sonaru system. A va dosta. Okay. Uh, so then ko eruf kumu. Uh, so then ko eru va nanu nani osuru ka. Then yoku o then sosuru. B va dosta. Juden koir of kumu. Juden koir wa dos sare ruka. Zenki so den koir ni jiki ketsuko sare ru. Now you see, if you could you could you get the hint here? What we are trying to to do is that there is something given in the sentence. You pick up that particular sub segment and try to put a question, and if that becomes an answer to that question, this means you are trying you are getting. Uh, some meaning out of it or some sense out of it so it's basically the process of comprehension and if you see the way it worked team team really works so if you are doing together with somebody it is helpful and if we connect the the target language equivalents uh, as listed here then it it comes as you know if you see carefully i am saying it is a system it is a system that has a and b so step by step it is getting connected it is a system that has A that include transmission coil and B. So it's Tenkai happening, you know, it's deployment of uh, the, the, the next sub segment into the previous one happening step by step. And if you join all, it comes as it is a system that has A that includes transmission coil that transmits power and B that includes charging coil that is uh, magnetically coupled to transmission coil mentioned earlier. Now, if you read it uh, slowly, it's not so difficult. But if you read it uh, fast and do not try to get engaged or involved with the content, uh, it it will it is you'll find it quite quite complex, which actually it is not. Hmm? Now the same sentence, it is this is a translation as rendered in the previous uh, slide. Now let's try to put back what was taken away. So it comes as it is a contactless transmission system that has uh, trans that has transmitting device that includes so those words which were dropped are being brought back that means uh, adjectable uh, primarily adjectives uh, and and i think there's a charging device that uh, is coming here uh, let's let's see if if we can do some fine tuning and if we put something like for example it is a uh, it is put from our side so it is a contactless contactless transmission system comprising a transmitting device a transmitting device that includes transmission coil transmitting power and a charging device that include so some fine tuning like a and a coming and that coming here it makes the flow much better uh, in between you know for example charging coil uh, magnetically coupled to the earlier mentioned if you put the it becomes more the readability becomes much better so macro and micro uh, frames undergo inter and intra transpositioning to you know to suit the needs of the target language now we are taking now the segment 2 uh, let's try to understand the components the parts or the sub segments uh, in segment 2 these are the uh, sub segments but if you see carefully most of these are adjectival clause plus noun and all these nouns are getting replaced or substituted by a b c d uh, slightly difficult for me to read i think so can you read uh, first we are taking subtopic yeah there is why is coming again so it's subtopic that is zenki so then what is that sochi so zenki so then sochi wa and zenki juden sochi wa saichi sareru saichi bu Okay, so Saichi Sareru Saichi Bu, is it? So, Saichi Sareru Saichi Bu means uh, Saichi Bu is the noun about which uh, you are talking, and the rest of the part is adjectival. So, most of the things you will find next in the next one it is uh, so then 
कोइर तो एंड देन नेक्स्ट इज सम सासेरु एंड देन हाशिंगू प्रॉब्ली एंड अगेन इन द नेक्स्ट वन इट इज एट द एंड व्हाट इज दैट केंचीबू केंचीबू एंड देन इन द नेक्स्ट वन इट इज इन द अक्तंस ओ मोतोनी इज इट मोतोनी और सो इट्स मोतोनी ओ मोतोनी uh and before in daktans it is uh i think the whole clause can be taken as adjectival clause uh in daktans o motoni this those goes as adjectival clause and the last one has got a verb to o sunai but if we see carefully it is so then sochi wa the topic or the sub topic remains c to d to e to f to g to o sunai so it's quite simple if you want you can drop even a b c d and can have it as one only because uh, this one can be replaced by the multiple number of number of uh, nouns and the adjectival parts uh, but translating this much will be as regards transmitting device has c d e f and g maybe it has c d e f and g the yes uh, so we can you read the comment here here Sub segments in orange are the adjectival clauses for the adjoining nouns in pink. Example: C, D, E, etc., and can be translated separately. Okay, so uh, we don't have to take burden of this. It can be translated separately. Now, let's try to identify the macro and micro frames uh, with on with the on the basis of what information or what. Uh, comprehension we had in the previous uh, slide sub topic was as very clear as regards transmitting device then uh, micro frame was c to d to and finally o sunai so has c d e f and g etc and these are the micro frames so now this micro frames if you see are quite simple to translate now uh, it is zenki ju then sochi ga saichi uh, sareru so earlier mentioned charging device is placed so saichi sareru is placed next is similarly hai retsu sareta and shitagawa uh, or shitagawa ni or kasoku ni hai retsu sareta so it's uh, was arranged on the lower side of the earlier mentioned something and then kakuso den koir o and here you know there are words which are difficult you know you'll have to pick up these words from the dictionary it's a kanji of tire hoka uh, then is stimulating and it's a verb so stimulate sare do so it separately oscillate each transmission coil and it was hashin so it is fine separately separately oscillated then khaku so then koiruno inductance o kenchi kenchi suru so detect uh, inductance of each transmission coil let's try to apply the 5w1h uh, technique and it comes as uh, follows let me try once again uh, surbi you put the question nani osuru so nai nani osunaru then it is c d t c d e f so it is c to d to e to f to g to o so nai see vadoshita uh, now the the verb comes that is uh, saichi sareru and ga saichi sareru and zenki juden sochi ga uh, saichi sareru d wa dosta zenki sochi uh, zenki sochi i think can't read can you read please zenki sochi zenki saichi bu hmm, saichi bu no shitagawa ni hai re sareru hai re chi so first one was sonai that means it has or it is equipped with and the second is uh, uh second the verb is the device is placed because it is saichi sareru and the third is hairet sareru it is arranged in the in the lower side of the earlier mentioned placing part e wa doshita again it is hashin sare hashin saseru and uh, translation is uh, separately oscillate each transmission coil it continues in the next slide yes next question f wa dosta inductans o kenchi suru so kaku so den koiru no inductans o kenchi suru which is that detects uh, the inductance of uh, each transmitted coil ji wa dosta 
it's a little long sentence omoto ni so kaku soden koiru no inductan so omoto ni zenki shi ni okeru zenki juden juden sochi no saichi ichi o hante suru so hante suru means it determines so it determines the position uh, determines the placing position what placing position of earlier mentioned charging device in uh, earlier mention uh, c based on inductance of each transmitted coil transmission coil and one more so then kaku so then coil no inductance wa doshita yes yeah, so it's a further question because there was further adjective will think further explanation so there is a further question saying ki f ni yori kenchi sareta so it's detected through earlier mentioned f now if you see carefully we could easily translate those segments without not much difficulty and putting them together we get this uh, sentence here this was the last uh, from the last slide and if we place back the components which were kept aside it comes as follows and now some amount of uh, fine tuning like uh, we are adding on which the earlier mentioned like this some fine tuning and you find that sentence comes quite readable now let's do the same thing with the segment 3 first is the understanding the components the parts that is the sub segments and uh, it is uh, first is zenki hashin ki wa so it's an adjective plus noun uh, which becomes sub topic 2 then the next one is omoto ni and then comma to naru so this this whole thing is actually adjectival clause or you can say two adjectival components the next is so then koiro hanteshi tokteshi so tokteshi is again a verb uh, preceded by a uh, you know noun which is substituted as d and then this tokteshi da fukusu no so then koiro ni nagareru then do you know uh, what is this hake hake ga zureru zureru yo ni now this is little longer so jure do you ni ka so then ko ni let's treat it as an adjectival clause separately and then do you know parameta o sette suru so noun which gets replaced as substitute uh, which is getting substituted as p plus verb and it comes as hashin bu wa di o tokte shi p o sette suru so quite simple uh, we have you know at, at least uh, two and half full lines coming to about half line only so getting reduced to less than 1/5 actually and the translation is uh, as regards oscillation part uh, specifies d and establishes p as it comes here let now now let's try to identify the macro and the micro frame the procedure remains the same as it was done in the previous uh, examples or previous segments first is hashin buwa Uh, that is as regards oscillation part macro frame is d o sette shi p o sorry d o tokte shi p o sette suru so a specifies uh, a is not required here so a is actually it specifies d and establishes p then the micro frames uh, micro frames are listed here first is jenki hante bu ni yori hante sareta and so determine determine through the determining part Zenki hante bu is determining part. Then next is, uh, can you read please? Next, yes, the second one. D ni nagare. No, the previous one, the the second one that is saichi saichi ichi o moto ni. Saichi uh, saichi ichi o moto ni can be taken as one adjectival clause separately. and the following part is hashin taisho to naru the whole thing becomes become become oscillation target based on placing position and then tokteshita uh, is was specified d ni nagare ru is flown in then do you know hake ga zure ru yoni kaku d ni nagare ru so flows in each d so that the wave form of current shifts Uh, again, then you uh, is current is enough. It's electric. Electric is not required. 
Once again, we'll apply 5W1H because joining is it as it is may not give a very meaningful uh, connectivity. And the uh, questions, let's start. Yes, first question is Tokteshi specifies D or Tokteshi so specifies D. D was Saichi Ichi o Moto ni. So based on something, based on uh, placing position, Hashin Taisho to Naru. So it becomes uh, target or oscillation target. The next question. Saichi Ichi wa Zenki Hante Buni Yori. You see the answer is getting connected and the translation is that is determined through earlier mentioned determining part. Next question. Yeah, do not understand so put a separate question. You can put random questions. If answer does not come it means that question is not relevant and if the answer comes it means the question is relevant. So the answer here is Sette Suru which is establishes. F O Sette Suru. Sorry, P O set this probably yes. Let's continue. More questions. P wa doshta. P wa dendryo no hake ga zureru yoni kaku dini nagareru. I hope you understood that. So that's the equivalent given there. So no dendryo wa doshta. Dini nagareru. So no dendryo wa dini nagareru. D wa doshta. D wa tokteshta. So, if you see all the questions are getting answered, it's getting connected and the flow joined by joining these components come as follows. Let's, let's place back the elements which were taken aside. This is how it comes, earlier mentioned comes in, multiple comes in and multiple comes in at two places. Some amount of fine uh, tuning, the earlier mentioned, the is added here, then uh, multiple transmission coils that become oscillation so that is added here then and is added uh, in the second line then current flowing in the specified multiple transmission coils shifts the macro and micro frames uh, undergo inter and uh, intra transpositioning to suit the requirement of the target language and if you see in this particular case we have put and uh, when when the must base was used that means she was tokte she or sette she uh, this can be you can finish the sentence there or you can uh, put and and continue continue the sentence in the case of patent it will be better to put and because the first clause or the first topic is getting connected to various components and at the at the end this tokcha tosur is coming so it's always better not to break the sentence because continuity is required and when we put all the segments which have been uh, dealt with here uh, in a tabular form, we see that all the segments are covered here both on, we can see on the Japanese side and English side. This is the last part of the uh, segment. So yes, Surbi, can you summarize the, you know, the process we have followed here? Segmentation, breaking the long sentences into smaller ones, simplification, after the segmentation, substitute the unfamiliar terms with variables such as A, B, etc. Frame identification. Once the segment has been simplified, identify the frames macro and micro. Frame transfer, that is FT, in target language. Transfer the frame with its equivalents in target language, TL, and place back the substituted parts. 5W1H application. Apply 5W1H for inter-transpositioning of the whole segment for logical transpositioning. And in the previous slide, we have applied the 5W1H and other techniques uh, and we could get the equivalence for the segments quite comfortably. Now let's try to apply this 5W1H on the whole sentence, on the complete sentence. You know, let's, we can start with the last segment. That is koto tokcho to suru hisesshoku dendoku denso system. So, contactless transmission system which is characterized by the and now apply 5H on the segments. The first is can you read the question? Hmm. Now, answer for this is coming in the form of the segment, the complete segment, and that segment is Zenki Hashin Bu wa. 
and then it continues omoto ni and then koer o tokute shi then uh, tokute shita uh, fukusu no soden koer ni nagareru denryo no hake ga zureru yo ni then parameta o sette suru so this is the characters donna koto tokuchu suru ka is these are the verbs uh, these are the things which are happening the this is the characteristic features of this patent so stay oh okay you are not satisfied yeah there were i think there were more than one uh, segment so the second segment gives the next segment gives the answer to this soshte and if we see the it starts with the zenki so then sochi wa then it goes to uh, something sareru saichi sareru saichi buto and then fukusu no so then koeru to then kaku so then koeru o and if you continue then it is hashin buto then again Uh, kenchi bu to and finally then kenchi bu ni yori kenchi sareta kaku so den koiru no indaktansu o moto ni so to 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 o moto ni and finally uh, saichi ichi o hante suru hante bu to hante bu to o sonae so soshite gets answered here it sonae so it equips with various parts so we we can see here you know the clause order of source language gets maintained automatically any other question yeah dono yona system okay dono yona system so dono yona system you have to explain about the system so it's getting as system de aate so if we begin then it was uh, something sochi so then sochi to then again uh, uh, to o uh, so nairu he says shuku You know there must be one more. I think somewhere in between. I can't read. It is kitsugo sareru juden koiru o fukumo juden sochi to. So there are two sochi, sochi a to sochi b o sonaru. So it talks what type of system? So it says it's a system which has got this, this, this. And this comes the overall uh, translation, which is quite readable. Uh, it does make sense. and this is just joining uh, let's let's uh, put one more question now whether to check whether we are correct or wrong what is the question three pe oh uh, probably we missed this we did not find any any segment in the whole clause of where we can say talk about nani and sita because everything got answered so no clear answer is available now if no clear answer is available that what is it about we are what is it that we are talking about this means we need to now go back to the title of invention it could be topic just before this statement or it could be the title of invention and the title of invention in this case is hisesho ku denryo ku denso system so which shows that the first segment is connected to the title of the invention uh, in this particular case now let's do some fine tuning if we try to bring in this particular uh, part which was there in the topic was this occurring this particular topic content is occurring in the segment also at the end so we need to put something and that something comes as which is and by doing some fine tuning we found that which can be dropped and it becomes is so this translation could be the final translation we are not very sure uh, whether it is 100% correct or not but uh it ha we have tried to maintain the accuracy from the original uh, all components are transferred in in the in a uh, very accurate manner and this is what the translation comes as the scope of the patent and the claim one but there are some observations you know first is that it was quite a complicated process there's no doubt uh you may get you may feel that you are tired and you will never attempt a patent again but uh, let me tell you a fact about the patent that it is only the scope of the patent or maybe the first paragraph or the second paragraph which is uh, which which are considered difficult once you have done this rest of the part is more or less repetition of what has been done here so uh, the issue here is are we sure whether it was our translation was accurate or not and this confidence level or doubting yourself i think 
this confidence level uh, may not improve very easily even, even in time to come so could there be a better method even if it is a mechanical one where the accuracy is ensured and readability is okay means it's not very bad so let me refer to the compilation of comments that we gathered in the ottb classes the you know regarding the scope of patent there are two or three very relevant uh, uh, observations which were compiled during the learning or the during when when the trainees were guided there first is that the scope of patent may or may not have the subject that was found in this case because the topic was or the subject was actually in the title of the invention however at the end it will always refer to the output of the invention that means what is it talking about that will come in the uh, scope at the end then output of the invention is usually preceded by a line and which begins with something o tokcho to suru something and its equivalent would be is characterized by and that refers to the characteristics and features which are listed in the context mostly above the utokcha to suru but the literal translation may lack the coherence that is required for the sentence as it is difficult to connect the subject and the remaining part without the subject knowledge therefore something is to be done so to solve this issue a patent specific writing style in target language has been suggested uh, in this ottp course now uh, during last few decades uh, uh, an attempt was made to devise some mechanism where this style of otokcho to suru uh, can be translated and uh, it's found uh, that so far it's found that this works very well and now that it is being practiced in the ongoing translation training program also if we start with this patent deals with now uh, can you read it should be first uh, the this patent deals with contactless transmission system wait so it is talking about what is being dealt with that is the title of the invention comprising a transmitting device that includes transmission coil transmitting power this is an adjectival part and a charging device that includes charging coil magnetically coupled to the earlier mentioned transmission coil again this is adjectival part and now wherein so this patent deals with something which is something when some some adjectival part wherein and for after wherein you can have all the verbs all the components all the segments in the sequence the way it is occurring in the source language i don't think this is required to be read uh, completely you can read it for yourself the only change or only difference between this particular one as compared to the translation which was arrived at uh, by the application of the earlier techniques is that it has got this patent deals with something wherein so this patent deals with this deals with as well as wherein both of these components are actually not there in the source language so uh, this is this is the uh, key feature of this particular module while translating the scope of the patent in particular the learning uh, in this module uh, are as follows the process is certainly too long the process which we have adopted is certainly too long i would say have patience and proceed step by step simple examples will be covered in the next module to ascertain the applicability of the techniques steps involved in the process are as follows uh, we did segmentation then simplification of the segmentation then frame identification then uh, frame transfer uh, applied 5w1h for intra transpositioning of the segments 5w1h for overall transpositioning uh, it can be very easily said that the segmentation is very crucial and you find it difficult to do segmentation or you find it difficult to apply logic so use hit and trial it works sometimes and even if it does not work you have seen here that we did the segmentation two times and finally it works so topic or subject uh, may have to be derived from the title of invention if it is not there actually it was there uh, coming at the end of the scope but you do not know whether that is the topic or the subject so it has to be picked up from outside and last segment that is otokcho to suru is patent specific writing style and can be treated as a universal unit or uh, domain specific universal unit and may be translated first as this patent deals with and it is connected to the remaining clauses by wherein so uh, the key learning actually lies here the rest are all more more or less techniques 
that o tukcho tusuru has to be translated as this patent deals with wherein parallel examples and elemental relation uh, help in deciphering the equivalent when dictionary or other uh, resources do not help and such technical domain require good knowledge of basics that is grammar expression unit uh, frame capture 5w1h application frame transfer or maybe trans uh, transpositioning etc these are the references uh, the paper uh, on cpci theory and the the link which is given here it gives a lot of information with regard to patent uh, once you do this this type of exercise of this module and uh, some more uh, simpler examples of uh, scope of patent will be covered in the next uh, module once you have done this when you refer to this particular link this link will you will find this link very useful so see you again for the for more examples on scope of patent in module 20 thank you very much